So there might be some correlation here between Nostradamus's prediction of the third world breaking out caused by the Chinese marching on Europe with firestorm devices and the Pleiadian prophecy saying that, yes, that there will be uh, firestorms over Europe. And again, remember that she talks about, even in the 70s, that our American government is fooling around with devices which cause chain reaction in the air and ignite the atmosphere and burn the planet. That was one of the main things that they were very concerned about always. Uh, she shows him four areas that are very suitable. And uh, one of the best, she says, is this area between where the volcano is going to happen and these earth, particular earthquake zones. So she's pointing out to uh, him, you know, where to look to move. Well, Billy says that's great. He's very interested in building a center where he and the others could live and have their own way of life. But where's the money going to come from for this? Um, she, Simyasi tells Billy not to worry that she will send out telepathic thoughts to those people uh, in uh, Billy's group about the truth of the mission. And she says she doesn't call this coercion. She believes that just sending out thoughts, you know, uh, is not coercion. But uh, on the one side, she may be correct because she says they won't know where the thoughts will come from. Uh, the thoughts will seem like their own ideas, and they can draw their own conclusions from the ideas she's going to send them, and that they will help uh, Billy get this center. Then she goes on to explain that many of the group members that have already come to follow around Billy uh, will be incarnated in their next lives to help Billy out again. That Billy, who already knows that he was going to have six more lifetimes in the next 800 years, which are going to be very rapid lifetimes in different places on the planet uh, to fulfill his mission, she says that this center that they're about to get, this place, this home, will become one of the main centers for spiritual growth on the planet, and that many of the people involved with Billy right now are very special people that will be incarnated actually right back at the center. And then she goes on to say that some of them uh, will be reborn again between the years 2015 and 2025. A couple of others will be born between 2033 and 2036. And the last ones will be born again between 2045 and 2072. It's very important, she says, that they incarnate again quickly. That normally the turnaround time during normal times is about 152 years for a spirit to come back into body when it leads a long and fulfilled life. Um, she says, however, the incarnation uh, period for these people is going to be kind of, um, I guess you could say they're going to mingle with it. And they're going to procreate them or cause them to be born faster because these are difficult times where it is important that there are these people are born again quickly to help with the education of the earth. Then she begins to put names to Billy of the people who, who are going to be born, reborn at the center. She also tells him which sex they're going to be. And the ones that are not going to be born at the center, of which several would be, would also be born at different places in the European theater, a couple of them several thousand uh, kilometers away. So Billy's kind of a little surprised at this because he was not aware of all of this. But she, he says that it's very important that um, also that these people understand this and know that normally individuals have no say-so in where they are incarnated at physically because they don't know how to do it. It is possible for an individual to have some control over that. But in this case, these people uh, are being told that they are very special people uh, to the mission of Earth and that they can be incarnated again at a specific time and place to continue on with their mission and that they will continue to be involved with the Pleiadians throughout these missions. Billy will be incarnated somewhere else, not in Switzerland his next life. He will die a unexpected death, which will become a su surprise to everyone. And um, this might be done on purpose or perhaps even with the help of the Pleiadians so he, to facilitate him being born quicker. Because if you die by accident and do not fulfill your normal lifespan, you come back faster. So they may be doing this on purpose because Billy is to have six lifetimes in 800 years, which is very quick turnaround time, much faster than normal. Uh, they don't want to give the uh, tell Billy the exact dates of his death because they don't want anybody to know that, although he has kind of an idea. But they don't want the people around him to know that because they're afraid that he uh, might be taken as an idol or martyred or something. 
it'll be 800 years before he personally will be rejoined with the uh, the innermost group that he's putting together here. But these people themselves, the group will go on and at the center where they're getting ready to build. So she felt it's very important that uh, they know this and how important it is that they all contribute to the center. Billy said he was aware of the ability that human beings have to actually have some control over where they're going to be incarnated next. That in his travels when he was younger in the Himalayas, he had spoken with some real masters who really understood these things, and uh, they had told him at the time how that was possible. Well, this, the 73rd contact was on Monday, February 7th, just a few days after that. And Billy's very excited. They've had a uh, meeting of the group, and he suddenly flashed, like he said. He had this memory of, of someone that had a house about a year before that. He had um, remembered this. It just popped into his head that there was this home in a place called Schmidruti that he had known about about a year ago and suddenly called the man and the timing was great uh, that this man um, said sure the house is going to be available next week and it's going on the market to be sold and it was one of these locations that uh, Billy had always thought would be really great to have a center at and he was very excited that it just seemed to fall right in place well Semiasi says well didn't exactly fall in place that she'd had a little bit to do with that that she knew it was the right place and she already knew in the future that that would actually be the location but she wanted to leave it up to Billy to make the final decisions she didn't want to interfere in his free will but what she had done was Billy didn't exactly get the idea to call this man back on his own that she had uh, brought that old memory to the forefront of his conscious mind so he would remember to do it so it was his own initiative that actually called the man and so forth and to find out about the house but apparently the house was going to become available and the group was very excited about it and again she reiterated the importance that the certain group members become aware of how important they were to the mission uh, later on uh, it's going to be it's not in the contact notes but later on Billy's even going to inform certain of the key members in the group of their past lives how they've been involved with this mission to educate earth in previous lives already and don't know it and how their importance affects the uh, spiritual growth of the planet earth in the next few hundred years so many of those uh, people that are living over there right now are under the impression that they've had previous lives and will have more lives to come in connection with Billy and the Pleiadians and that by living there at the center they're becoming a member of and the word elite was used it says that uh, if they continue on and help with the center and uh, that their incarnations will be controlled by the Pleiadians where they will be reborn and pulled back together and they will become members of what the Pleiadians called elite spiritual leaders to help in educating the earth well, I emphasize that the word elite is in the contact notes because many people who've gone over to visit at the center have come, come away with the description of the people there that they seem to think that they're kind of an elitist group. And that's probably where this thinking comes from. The Pleiadians have told them that they are going to become that, that they are special incarnated spirits working on a mission. And they do have that attitude over there. Uh, they're not unkind, they're not cold to people, they are just into themselves. They're very busy with their mission. They take this very, very seriously. And to outsiders, when they come over there, especially even myself, my first time over, uh, you do get that impression that uh, we mistakenly think that uh, they think they're better than other people, and that's not the case. Uh, they just like to keep to themselves and protect their own environment and protect their own thoughts and they are very very serious about the mission that they are on you see for all of these people they have a different truth than the rest of the world does all of these people have had contacts uh, mentally telepathically they've been out to see the ships physically to them they know it's real to UFO uh, uh, experts and investigators and people who look into this case around the world they may look at fringe evidence and say well